Good afternoon. This is Manassas Park Recreation Center again. Um, you probably have a lot of things filling up your trash bin right now. And probably some of them are milk containers or containers that uh, could be used for other things. So what you see here, uh, we're going to talk about just a few little ways to recycle some things uh, that can be used for storage and decoration um, for pens, pencils, or other things. So this happens to be, of course, as you can see, uh, a little container that um, cream came in. So one of the quick ways of making something kind of neat with that is, of course, to just kind of mark off some height that you might want to have a storage container for your project. And as you can see, I've already pre-cut this one. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is find something around the house that you can coat it with. Um, or you can even use, again, decorative tape um, that will give it some color um, and dimension. Or if you use masking tape, you can actually paint over it as well on the masking tape. Uh, not the duct tape, uh, the paint does not, acrylic paint doesn't sit well on that. But you could use the masking tape, cover the whole thing up, and paint it or put designs on it. As you can see for this one, I had some leftover pieces of material at home and I found just a little scrap, some scraps of um, some trim. So with that, of course, it's easy to cover that and create a nice container that you can have for pencil storage or for other storage uh, or just decorative and put uh, some flowers or something in it because these containers in particular even though they're cardboard, they have been heavily coated because they actually had liquid in it. So you can also have flowers in it as well. So you could put some liquid in there. So just as you will see, this one here, of course, has been finished. It was a larger container that was cut down and, of course, had some leftover materials uh, from different sewing projects and just kind of put that around it and found some uh, ribbon at the uh, a, a little local store that I liked and just kind of added that to it. So this is a nice container that I can either keep, I'll put some fresh flowers in or I can store something else in it uh, as well. So that's one way of using and clearing out your uh, trash bin without uh, feeling so overwhelmed with the amount of uh, materials that things that you have left over uh, that have to go in the waste bin, particularly when kids are home how to have them use some of those things so that it gives them um, an experience, um, a skill of doing some things, but also uh, a way of um, having just be creative as well. So that's one creative project we can use in terms of how to reuse some of the containers that we have sitting around the house now or in the trash bin. Now, the other thing is, and I don't have a full bottle of it, and this is a lotion bottle. Again, what I've done with this lotion bottle is I've put tape all over it. First of all, I did cut down a lotion bottle. And I cleaned it out and uh, just kind of cut around the edges. Then, as you see with this one, I did some taping all over it and decided I would put a little bug or something on it. Again, these can hold flowers or some type of liquid if you have to. Or they're great for putting in your bathroom to hold your, your toothbrush, um, those things like that that you would normally go out and buy a container to put toothbrushes and things in. Uh, if you have children, you can even have them put their names on, have their own to put their names on them uh, as well, or for holding pencils or something else. As you'll see, this one, again, had the tape on it, was painted, and I decided to use some, um, again, leftover material I had around the house that I could, um, that I just kind of hot glued around the top of that. So this, again, is a way of how to clear out, not have so much stuff in my trash bin, or use the things that I have without having to spend the extra money to get something that you could simply make at home. So that's another project that you can look at doing. And the last project, I found myself needing a, uh, a scrubby sponge, and I didn't have one in the house. But what I did have was these. I had some leftover netting from uh, buying some fruit, uh, and this can be used for many different types of projects. 
and I also had a part of uh, some a noodle. So what I did, I actually cut off a piece of the noodle, about an inch or so, and then I began to just wrap it around and tie. I just tied a knot and pushed it in the center, and it became the scrubby sponge that I needed. Now on tough sponge uh, things at home, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but uh, I was actually cleaning off a uh, board for a Cricut machine, and this worked absolutely perfect because uh, it gave a gentle scrub, but you could also use this as a scrub probably too uh, in your bathroom and not mess up the porcelain or your tiles uh, in your bathroom as well. So consider the fact that you could use some of these things right within your own home and clear out your trash bin without having to necessarily stick that back in, necessarily either spend the extra money for these things and at the same time recycle some things and save certainly your trash bin and save the landfill as well. So those are some little projects that can be done right around the house. You have a great day.